Your plan's over all suit you. Take this note. It's from Arthur. In case anyone asks any questions. Anyway, I'll best start packing these crates. So I'm always waiting for you in the pool. Watch yourself. He's not the little lad you know. I never told them anything! Oh. Come in. Let me get a look at you. Well, time's not been kind to you, eh? You still smoke? What's it been? Ten years? More? Still can't talk after all this time. That old bastard really did a number on you, didn't he? But compared to your old man, ours was a fucking dream. We were just kids last I saw you, and I've got Arthur in my ear saying give him a chance. Ever read of this? Churchill's place was robbed last night. Got away with the king's ransom. Jewelry, fine china, family heirlooms. Churchill farmer worried about this. This was stolen from his nightstand as he slept. Looks like a briefcase, but it's not. It's Churchill's dispatch box, stuffed with government secrets. Now, God forbid it falls into the wrong hands, which is where we come in. Have a seat. We'll talk business. Toast. To old friends. The documents in that red box name every British undercover agent worldwide. Whoever's got it could blow the lid off the Empire. Start a new war. So Churchill's asked me to personally see that he gets it back. And he will reward the Shelby Company handsomely for his troubles. Luckily, I was able to locate it. My man in London was due to deliver it here this morning and call before he set off. No one's seen her and I heard of him since. One way or another, someone's got to him. Now I need a trustworthy soldier to go down there and find the truth. I normally ask my brother, but this needs a surgeon, not a butcher. You might just be that man. I've seen your war record. Have a read. Paints a grim picture. But I can change that. Now, Arthur, he remembers what you did for him back in the old day. But I'm not Arthur. How do I know you're anything but a traitor? Who's got this coming to him? just yet. Abraham's man betrayed me. He's in there. Take care of him. Job's yours. I'll see to it your name is cleared. Go and see Polly at the betting shop. Give her this. Or we can just fuck off. It's up to you. <laughs> 